Riley if you're new here. If not, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my minimalist accessories collection. So that includes shoes, purses, hats, and jewelry. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first I'm just going to start with my hats because I don't have very many. This is more of an athletic hat and I got it from Disney. We live in Tampa so we're about an hour away. And... I needed a better hat that was a little more breathable because the Florida weather can be really hot. <laughs> also, please excuse my voice today. I've had a bit of a sore throat, so it's a little scratchy, so I'm sorry for that. And the next hat I have is this Madewell hat, and it's just a plain, kind of like beige tan. Goes with everything, so can't go wrong. Also, while I'm going through all these items, I might declutter some if I find any that I do not love anymore. My next hat, I actually got this from the Tampa Aquarium and it says keep it blue and green and it just has a little world emblem on it and I got this for my birthday a few years ago before we lived here so definitely one of my favorites and the last hat is my husband actually gave me this it was one of his old hats because he didn't want anymore and honestly I don't love it anymore either so I think this is going to be donated and decluttered Okay, next, let's go through all of my purses. And by all of them, I mean four. <laughs> so you might have more and you might have less, but that's perfectly fine. Minimalism means something different for everyone. If you're ever reevaluating, just really hold on to the items that you truly love and you'll use regularly. That's just an easy tip if you ever struggle with decluttering or, you know, minimizing your items. So the first purse I have is this beige purse and it's from Teddy Blake. Pretty roomy inside. I just really love the color because it matches with everything. Okay, and the next purse I have is from Kate Spade. And it's just a pretty basic black purse, but it has a flat bottom, so I like that. And it has enough room to fit whatever I want to bring with. But honestly, I barely put anything in my purses, so I don't need a large purse or anything. Okay, this next purse, I actually tried donating before when I was decluttering, but... I couldn't let it go. I absolutely love this purse. It's from my mom. So it's been in the family for years, but I really love the style. I only thought about getting rid of it because it's a little worn, but honestly, you can't tell. So I think I'll keep this purse until it really is not usable anymore. It's definitely one of my favorites, and I just love that it was passed down for my mom. And then the final purse is this cute little rattan purse. It's not that big, but I really like it for more casual wear and and not to mention it's super cute and it goes with almost every outfit I wear because we live in Florida and that's it for the purses next let's move on to the jewelry to start this beaded pearl necklace is again for my mom so this is definitely a keep for me and then next is this herringbone necklace which was also a gift for my mom but it's timeless and classic and these are the only three necklaces I wear. I also have this necklace and this is from Majuri and it was a gift for my husband. I do have an extra dish of some jewelry that I don't wear normally and there are a few things to declutter. These two necklaces are actually tangled together but one's really tarnished and the other one is silver which I never wear silver and it was a gift. I think I will donate this one because... Maybe someone will actually get really good use out of it. I love that about donating things. You can give it a second life rather than just sit somewhere in a pile in your home. Moving on to the rest of my jewelry, I have this Nord Green watch, which I do wear occasionally. It's very nice and I love gold and it's really simple and I love the chunky nice band. And now I'll show you the earrings, which are gonna be hard to like hold up and show you. <laughs> Okay, so here's the earrings I have. These are a set from Princess Polly, just a chunky gold hoop. These little hoops are another item I inherited from my mom. She gave them to me and because she knows I love gold hoop. And they're just a little bit different style, so I really like that. And then these earrings I actually wore on our wedding day. And they have a little pearl on them. And I actually got them from J. Crew. And they're gold plated, so they last a long time. These pearl earrings are from Kate Spade, which were a gift many years ago. These two pairs came as a set, which I'll sometimes put in my second piercings. Whoops. I'll put it in my second piercing in my ear. And these were also a gift I got recently at Christmas. Lastly are these really cute wishbone style earrings. And I actually got these at a farmer's market local back where my family lives. I just thought they were super cute and I love supporting small business. So these are one of my favorites. So that's all the earrings except for the ones I'm currently wearing. Which these are also gold plated and from J. Crew. Honestly I haven't taken them out since uh, probably like a year ago. I wear them. Um, most of the time except for when I change out for different earrings but basically what I mean is I shower sleep 
in these ones a lot of time and they still haven't tarnished so I feel like that's really good and then I have just my rings which this wide band one is from my mom it was one of hers she gave me this one's from Majuri and then of course my wedding ring and wedding band so that wraps it up for the jewelry part lastly is the shoes so I'm gonna show you those and I think I might have a pair to to declutter because I've been thinking about getting rid of them for a while but just holding on to them for I don't know why <laughs> so I laid out all my shoes along the wall so I'm just gonna go through each pair with you guys these boots I've had for years and they're born boots and I definitely recommend them I don't get as much use living here in Florida now but we still have family up in the Midwest so we do have cold weather trips too so they still get used but Probably not as much as they used to. And believe it or not, it does get cold here in Florida. The winters, it can get cold as, um, in the 30s and 40s, so you still need boots, but I don't get as much use out of them compared to when we lived up north. Next, these boots are from Target, I believe, and I've had these for years as well, and they've held up pretty good, but you know, once I kind of ruin these, I'll probably buy a better brand. But at the time, these were just what was available for what I needed. And next are my New Balances. These are five seven fours but they match with everything and you can dress up or down so i love these and they're super comfortable so super versatile and can wear them with anything so i had these vejas um before my 537s and i've had them for years they're really great you can't walk as far in them but i just love a classic white flat sneaker so i'm definitely holding on to these still and i kind of realized looking at all my shoes i kind of have two of each style which is really funny i have two pairs of heels these nude steve maddens and then i have a little tropical sandal and these are from target too a lot of these shoes are from many years ago so i'm not sure if they're available still but the new balances are new so i know they still have those okay moving on to sandals i have these two these I've only held on to because I need a replacement because one, they're not comfortable and they provide no support. I do not love them. I just need a sandal for an event and it was an emergency purchase probably like a couple years ago and I've just held on to them waiting for a replacement but I think I'm just going to finally get rid of them because I still never wear them and when I do, they're not comfortable and always give me blisters. So these are getting decluttered. And then these sandals are from Marshalls, I believe. And they're the brand... Cynthia Rowley and then I also have some Chacos Again had these for years. I think got them on sale actually because the colors, you know can go on sale, but um, Really comfortable great for walking and hiking. I also have my running shoes and these are Brooks ghosts My husband and I ran a lot when it was cooler here in Florida But now it's probably getting a little too hot for that and then lastly my favorite pair of shoes are my Birkenstocks. The bottom looks worn, but I wear these so much and they're super comfortable. I can walk for miles in them and I have really sensitive feet. So every time I run through a pair of Birkenstocks, I definitely get a replacement because these are my absolute favorite shoe ever. Wasn't that huge of a declutter? I got rid of two necklaces, a hat, and a pair of shoes, which I feel like it's pretty good because my collection's already pretty dwindled down. I hope you guys enjoyed this little minimalist accessories collection. Definitely let me know what type of videos you'd like to see next. I love to hear suggestions from you guys and this video idea actually came from one of you. So thank you for suggesting it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.